So here are some Pachislo tokens and the British 10 pence coin. So there's different styles of Pachislo token you can get, but they're all the same, the same size. So this is one style. Here's another style. And you can get them in, in lots of different styles. And this is the British 10 pence coin. If you put them together, they actually look like the same size. They're very similar. Doesn't look any different at all. But actually the uh, Pachislo coin is just very slightly taller than the British 10p coin. But it's possible to change some of the Pachislo machines uh, so they just accept 10 pence coins like any other token. So to do this, I'm going to need uh, some standard cellar tape and a pair of scissors. What I do is take a length of tape. Then I have to just fold fold over the tape just uh, just a little bit so that I've got a lip which uh, is not sticky because that lip is going to run along the edge of the coin. Probably going to want to make a better job of it than this. Okay, and then where I folded it over, I want to just cut along it just to make the lip very, very narrow indeed. Okay, and you probably can't see this very well. Uh, you have to take this now over to the machine. So this is the coin mechanism inside the back of the, the door of the Pachislo machine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop an actual token in and you'll see it come in through and it'll fall out of this slot here. So I'll just put my hand underneath there. And it credits. So now I'm going to put a, a, a Tempe through and so I haven't modified it yet. But there's a little lip here which detects the height of the coin. So as soon as Tempe gets to this, this point it'll fall out and it will just fall straight through to the tray again. So it just fell straight out of there and into the tray. So, in order to um, in order to convert this machine, what we need to do is take a piece of tape that we've got, and it's probably best if you uh, do a better job of, of making it than this. Because what we want to do is we want to cut it to the length, roughly, of the uh, this piece of metal here. So carefully stick this along the piece of metal. And that should hold the 10p in. And you should hear it credit when I put this 10p in there now. And there it goes. And so that's, that's how to convert the machine to a 10p. You're going to want to make this lip as small as possible uh, so that it doesn't accept anything which is smaller than a 10p because uh, you don't want small coins going through and I'll explain that, explain why that is. So here's the hopper on the, on this machine uh, and sometimes there's a clip down here which you need to push down to pull the hopper out but on this machine I can just pull it out but first I'll disconnect it from the power supply and I'll turn the, turn the machine off. And I can pull the hopper out. Here's the hopper out of the machine, and in, in the hopper I've got like a load of Pachislo tokens, which I need to empty out before I run a test. And what I'll do is I'll run a test and make sure that the, uh, the 10 pence coins, because they're slightly smaller, they run through the hopper okay. And so if you're not willing to, to take the risk that it might jam the hopper, which in theory it shouldn't do, then I wouldn't proceed with this conversion because there's always a possibility with the coins being slightly different size, the hopper that you've got, it may not accept the 10 pence coins correctly. So, so if you're at all worried about taking the risk, don't take the risk. So I've got some 10 pence coins here, which I'll put into the machine now. And then there's a button on the, this side of the machine which, which will uh, eject the coins. So if I press the button, uh, it ejects the coins. 
out of the tray comes a 10 pence coin. So showing you that the machine uh, is now running on 10 pence coins. So if I put them in again, I'll play, play a game. <laughs> Uh, and so 10 pence coins are much easier to come by than the Pachislo tokens. And, and Pachislo tokens tend to cost about 7.5p, 8p each anyway, so it's not much difference in cost. And you can always use the 10 pence coins again if you, if you decide to use them again. <laughs>